You know, LG, after Apple stopped making their studio monitors, LG's kind of stepped in as being the high-end monitor company. Uh, you know, no monitor is too big, no price is too high. <laughs> they, they are able to make it. So they uh, they released a new one. It's a 40-inch curved monitor, so it's it's pretty sweet. Uh, it, they, they keep changing whether it's labeled for gaming versus uh, design and art, so maybe it kind of crosses both. It's a weird monitor. It's a weird resolution. It's a weird refresh rate. There's a lot of weird stuff about it, but what's important is that it is a Thunderbolt 4 monitor, so it's the first one that's on the market. We're about to start seeing Thunderbolt 4 stuff coming out, and if you don't remember why uh, Thunderbolt 4 is important, uh, the main reason is USB-C and Thunderbolt 3 is a nightmare of mixed up standards. When you see a USB-C port on something, you have no idea what it's capable of. Can it do video? Is it going to charge? Is it this many watts? What speed is it? Who the hell knows? Like USB-C fixed nothing except for your cable being upside down. It makes rotisserie chicken. Yeah, it probably could. Uh, don't, don't lick the USB-C no. port. Uh, but Thunderbolt 4 and whatever new connector they attach to it, it which oddly enough is still USB-C, but we'll see <laughs> if they change that. But uh, it's supposed to fix all that by giving us a much more consistent standard. And so here is our first device coming out with it. Exciting times. Now, Don, it's supposed to be like wicked fast, though, right? It was like, what was it, 40? 40, 40 gigabit. Gigabit, that's right, yep. 40 gigabits. Yep, 40 gigabit, uh, you know, USB, I mean, uh, Thunderbolt 3 was able to do 20 gigabits per second. Uh, this goes up to 40, which is nice, you know, extra oh, speed. Yeah. For storage devices, super important, but if you're doing multiple monitors, if you're doing 4K resolutions, 8K resolutions, mm. you're going to need that extra bandwidth for that. So that's why we're seeing it on a monitor first. We'll see it trickle out to other devices down the road. <laughs> If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.